I've shared several videos on YouTube showing the work of my good friend Mike Cooper. Mike has been making art for over 50 years, and he has a retrospective show running through May 28, 2023, at the Museum of Sonoma County in Santa Rosa, California. There's a fabulous book on Mike's work coming out in a few weeks. I'll be posting more information on that as soon as it's released. Today, I want to share a video on one of Mike's largest sculptures to date, a complex kinetic piece titled How the West Was Won, How the West Was Lost. This sculpture is operated by numerous air motors and pneumatic cylinders run by a program logic system. There's a lot of social commentary in this sculpture, as you'll see. So let's go directly to the video showing the sculpture in action with Mike narrating. I was listening to a couple of different lectures by Helen Keldicott, who is an Australian medical doctor, and she was lecturing on how we're overusing our resources, overpopulating the population, you know, poisoning our food, and just basically not doing a very good job with managing the earth. And I started the piece with the idea of, well, some of the things I thought were out of control. And of course, I used the gun image. Uh, I used uh, an oil derrick and uh, an oil pump because I think we're, you know, we're just needing that resource and we have no real alternative yet. And of course, it's in an oil sludge uh, that the car is sinking in. That piece started 30 some years ago or more, and we're still, of course, having oil problems and we'll probably continue to have them. I love the use of color, but then I like that combination with chrome, with powder coated steel, with polished aluminum, grained aluminum, anodized colors in aluminum. Then also in parts of pieces, there are industrial components that are just right there. Uh, there's the whole program system, which is a little microprocessor, the air solenoid boards and with their blinking LEDs. There's uh, pneumatic cylinders, and, and these are left natural. They're just maybe cleaned up a little bit by polishing or just uh, addressing the surfaces just a tiny bit. But I wanted the piece to be, in a sense, a large coward. I wanted the piece to expand, and I was thinking of air filling shapes. And much like there are a few birds and some fish that expand their bodies or their plumage to ward off enemies, I was planning that as kind of an aggressive act, but then the piece would slither away and shrink in size, and then it would restart in some way. I'd like to use the natural sound of air escaping from cylinders and air ratchets, which make a wonderful industrial noise. It would be part of the piece, you know, part of the stimulation or viewer experience. I like the exploration more of the unknown and the, uh, the idea that when you get to some sort of an end, that end in itself is going to be in some ways unexpected. You can't quite foresee it. Even if you can see the end in your mind, seeing it in your mind and seeing it in reality are two different things. To me, art making is an opportunity to express yourself, obviously. but. The kinetic element is just one more element. Uh, it's, of course, not a visual element, but it's uh, an uh, element that can evoke emotion and uh, it can be joy or horror, or, you know, many things. And I love the challenge of movement. I love the sound within the movement. I love the complexity of doing it. I don't like the problems that sometimes are associated with it because it's extremely difficult and much more time consuming to make. But I enjoyed uh, kinetics from the, in a sense, from the time I was playing with, you know, little uh, small gas-powered airplanes, you know, as a child, and coaster cars and little sailboats and all of that. So it's just been a natural extension of the way I, I see the visual world. I don't understand how humor creeps its way in the uh, ironic twists of things, but I really enjoy it, and Stefan von Heuen was one who triggered that feeling. He did two cowboy boots, and I think that cowboy boot has some reference to him way back in the 60s, but they did a little dance, and he had made a mechanism 
that mechanically made them shift. Very simple, very fun, very playful. And I just smiled and inside I just laughed watching those because to me what he had done is he had made art, it was experimental, it was kinetic, and it was very humorous. The job of the artist is to make art that he really feels strongly and honest about in my mind, I want to grab the viewer. I want to shake him and, and you know, pull him in and ha have his attention at least for a little bit. And uh, if they hate it, that's okay, but at least they've encountered it. I just think the idea of art making is so exciting because there's always a sense of exploration at all levels of the process. I hope you liked this video, and I'll have more information on Cooper's new book coming up soon. Meantime, you can see more of Mike's work on his website, michaelcooper.us. Special thanks to everyone who supports my channel on Patreon. You're the ones who keep this channel going.